Hi again, this is Maggie. I, I have another video for you guys. This is to make just some tips on how to make a card, a birthday card in this case, uh, with uh, quick techniques and something quick to do and easy to do. I did see this technique online. It's a mixture of watercolor and doodling. And it's kind of neat. I do have it in my roller desk, but I wanted to show you the process and how to build a card. Uh, I will jump in and show you when I change the process. Uh, so right now I'm going to let the music play for a little bit. Okay, so now at this point, I am going to do a circle with a pen, um, actually a pencil. You have to make sure it's a pencil because you're going to erase it later on and make sure that you have a circle shape as a little bit as a um, balloon because that's when you're going to start doodling inside those circle, um, one with words, one with dots, with lines, and that's what makes it a fun card. Now for this balloon, I actually pulled out my watercolor, the one that has the gold watercolor, if you can see it there. And I'm going to do 
dot yellow or watercolor gold watercolor dots on my yellow balloon. Now here is time to erase the lines that I created with the pencil so that I only leave the doodles around making the shape of the balloon. So I go all around all the um, balloons that I created the doodled and I went ahead and I erased that pencil line that I had on them. I am now looking for a good stamp. Um, I do have stamps that uh, read happy birthday and all kinds of words. I wanted to use something a little bit different so we don't, it doesn't particularly have to be for a birthday but it can be any type of celebration. So I was looking for something a little bit different than happy birthday. Here I realized that um, the stamp that I was going to use at the beginning, um, it was going to give me the first stamp, but I wanted to make sure that my lines were nice and heavy and dark. So I have this new thing. That, I'm sorry I'm off camera a little bit, but I used this stamp. I can't recall the name, but I'll plug the name here later on. But what it does is you can continue to go back to the same spot and add ink to it until it becomes nice and dark. Now you can either place your card on a background like this one and you can um, you can get these cards from Walmart or Target. They're blanks and very you can buy a whole pack very cheap and then create your watercolor card and just tape it to the card you can go as you can also do a um, put a background or frame around it like for instance right now i get a pink card that i have 
and put it as a background. You see here, I put the background there to create a framing around the car, which is really, really nice. And there I have the pink and the green, and you see the color combination, how nice it is. And you see the little framing there in the card. And you glue all that together and you get a nice card there. So this is fun. You can create a quick card without having to spend too much time. And now I'm going to put it in my roller desk as a, another card with all of the details for me to work on when I'm getting ready to do a birthday card. I hope you guys like this video. Thank you. Bye.